Yeah. There are currently over or almost one million international students in America today. I'm an intercultural studies major and for the past two years I've worked with a program that reaches out and befriends international students while they're studying in our country. And I can tell you that it's very important for these students to make an American friend while they are here. It's important for two main reasons. Number one, international students make up a significant portion of the students in our colleges. And also, international students and the experiences that they have, whether positive or negative, can have long-reaching ramifications not only for them, but also for us. So to start off, let's look at the, st the statistics on how many international students are actually in our country today. According to Project Atlas, for the 2014-2015 school year, there were 974,926 international students attending public and private higher education institutions in our country. This number just continues to increase. In fact, they say it increases by 11% every year. And there are quite a few colleges actually that boast an international student population on their campus of over 20%. The top five countries that send students to us would be China, India, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, and Canada. Alan Goodman, who is the president for the International Institute of Education, said that the reason why we receive so many international students is that we actually have the capacity to host them. The United States, unlike most countries, has over 4,000 higher education institutions. Unfortunately, China and India just, they don't have the space for all of the college students. Also, most international students go home after they receive their degree. Uh, the Kaufman Foundation in 2009 found that 86.8% of Chinese students and 79% of Indian students return home after they have their degree. Now let's look at how a student's positive or negative experience can have long-reaching ramifications not only for them, but also for us. Most international students really struggle to make American friends while they're here. The Journal for International and Intercultural Communication found that 40% of international students never make one American friend the entire time they're studying in America. And this can be a major problem because a lot of our world leaders, current and former, actually receive their college education in America. Uh, in fact, the State Department's current count is at about 300 world leaders. And some names that you might possibly recognize would be King Abdullah of Jordan and also the former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. The experience that an international student has can have far-reaching effects on our country. Um, Global Frontiers has a true story about these two men, Yosuke Matsuoka and Aisuruku Yamamoto, and their time in America. These two men were Japanese students and they came here for a college education. Unfortunately, they experienced intense racial prejudice the entire time they were here. And neither one of them can remember having a positive experience with an American during their entire time in America. Both of these men years later became very important in their country. One became the commander in chief of the combined fleet of Japan and the other one became the foreign minister of Japan. Both of these men were absolutely instrumental in instigating the attack on Pearl Harbor. It's sad for me to wonder how history might have been different if these two men had been welcomed to our country and treated with friendship and respect while they were here. Looking back, I hope you can see how vitally important it is for us to welcome international students and offer them our friendship while they're here. Number one, because they make up such a significant portion of our student population on our campuses, but also because the experiences that they have, positive or negative, can have long-reaching ramifications for our country. So it's just super vital that international students make at least one American friend while they are here. So by offering an international student compassion and uh, while they are in our country, you can not only make a lasting friendship that will span oceans, but you also just might possibly impact the future. So, are there any questions? I have one. Have you made any international friends at all? I actually made quite a few, but the one that really comes to mind is Asaka, and she was from Japan. And actually, this is a picture of her. 
and she went to Missouri State Southern University and I was her conversation partner. And Conversation Partners was a program that the college offered in which an international student was partnered with a peer and that peer, American peer, and that American would basically be their built-in friend and it was the safe person that the international student could go to if they had any questions about the culture or language and um, basically just was their for sure American friend in the country. And we are still close to this day. Okay, how would I go about being involved with international students? The first thing I would do would be find out your closest college and see what kind of international student population they have. Um, if it has a big enough population of international students, one thing that the school will have is programs for those students that you can get involved in, such as the Conversation <laughs> Partner Program or a Friendship Family Program. Um, these particular programs are really great because uh, the Friendship Family, for example, is an entire family that's taking an international student under their wing. So um, another way that you could get involved is see if there's any other organizations that are reaching out to international students. I know a lot of churches and other nonprofits love to have programs that go uh, that reach out to international students, like the one that I was involved in um, in Joplin. Another way that you can get involved is see what kind of events that the school hosts for international students. These kind of events always require more and more volunteers. And I know that's a great way for you not only to get involved with other people who would love to um, get to know international students better, but also you can get to know international students yourself. Thank you.